Hey, this is Ben for Slashgear, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Orange San Diego. So, the San Diego costs £200 on pay as you go, and £15.50 a month, uh, you get the phone for free on a 24-month contract. And for your money, you're going to be getting a single-core add-on processor clocked at 1.6GHz, 1GB of RAM, 16GB of storage, a 4-inch screen with a 1024x600 resolution, and an 8MP camera. On the top of the device you'll find the 3.5mm headphone jack along with a microphone and a power button. On the right hand side you've got a volume rocker as well as a micro SIM card slot and a camera shutter button. On the bottom you've got another microphone and a speaker plus micro USB input for charging and data. And on the left you have a micro HDMI output. Unfortunately you're not going to be getting ice cream sandwich on this device. Instead you're going to be saddled with a customized version of gingerbread. Although Orange has said that an ice cream sandwich update is coming in the future. Uh, customizations include Orange's launcher and they've added in some of their own apps such as Orange Wednesdays and Assistant. And there's some third party offerings from the likes of Navigon, Daily Motion, and Quick Office. So, in terms of performance, I think Intel actually brings quite a lot to the table, especially at this price point. If you flick between the home screens, it's not that awesome, but I think that's a problem to do with uh, Orange's launcher rather than the actual processor. Because if you jump into the browser, things are pretty smooth for the most part, you know, pin uh, scrolling and pinch to zoom and whatnot. It does tend to stutter very occasionally and hiccup and whatnot, and it is. It's 90% of the way there, but it's. I have a feeling once this gets updated to Ice Cream Sandwich, all those problems will be rectified. The other big question on people's lips is probably battery life. Like, can Intel shove a processor into a phone without crippling battery performance? And the answer is yes, to an extent. Battery drain, you know, when the phone's idle is minimal. When you're using the phone, it does drain slightly quicker than ARM-based processors, but it's nothing alarming by any means. The problem is mainly to do with the screen. It seems to suck even more power than we're used to from other devices. But in terms of the actual processor, I don't think it's a hindrance on the phone at all. So an 8 megapixel camera on a 200 pound phone sounds impressive, but it takes very average results. Photos often look washed out, and then in very random circumstances, reds and blues tend to get blown out and oversaturated. As for the 1080p video recording, a wise woman once said, I don't think you're ready for this jelly. And I think that rings very true for the video recording on this phone, because it really is quite terrible. So, is the San Diego a good phone? I would say it is a good phone, considering the Orange are hitting a £200 price point. If it was anything more than that, they would be creeping into mid-range territory, and it wouldn't fare so well there. But the fact of the matter is, you're getting a really fast processor, good battery life, good screen. The only things holding it back are the average camera and uh, gingerbread. Now, Orange have promised an ice cream sandwich update. Whether that will come, you'll have to wait and see. But I think as it stands right now, the San Diego is definitely worth considering.